Hello my Mystic Tribe, welcome back. I hope that you are good and that you've had a good few days. Um, so today we are doing what are their true feelings and for us to do that I am drawn to very romantic tarot. So if you want to know the decks, oh I missed one. This is definitely called the romantic tarot and this one is definitely called the Victorian romantic tarot. So there is a clear difference in them. Um, deck number one, deck number two, pick your deck um, and we'll get going. Okay. Number one, let's go. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Uh, so if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it. For a later date, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? And let's get really down into the essence of their energy to find out what these emotions are. What are they? these true emotions for you and as I'm stepping into their energy I just saw the scene from Cinderella where the prince is there and he is putting on the glass slipper and he is hoping that the glass slipper is going to fit so right off the bat your person's true thoughts and uh, true emotions for you is that this could be the one and with that being said Dua Lipa coming through my right ear could be the one and um, so I like that I like that as a starting point of this energy what is your person's true feelings for you could be the one <laughs> it's going to go round around my right ear now as well what are their true feelings for you two three your person can sometimes wear a little bit of a mask with the connection with you. So you might find, this is why you're actually probably watching this video with their, their true feelings. Um, we're taking him as well because he, he's staring at me. Um, you might find that your person hasn't really told you much about what they're really feeling for you. They've got a little bit of a mask up and they don't like to feel vulnerable. Um, and it comes back to a point, a lot of your people have probably got issues from when they, or, or yeah, issues, so to speak, from when they a younger family around them where they've had to be a very strong individual and um, so sometimes they feel that talking about emotions makes them a bit vulnerable makes them a bit weak and um, that is what's going through their energetic field as I'm stepping into their energy so your person's really into you your person really likes you they've got a lot of hope for the future that you guys can be together that you can be in a relationship this really reminded me of a womb energy there is growth here there is likelihood that the two of you can grow and build this stable family unit together it's what they want it's what i want and that song coming up as well um it's what i want or oh, that's what i want do you remember that um so with the two is two of ones over here they really are thinking it through thinking that you can be the <laughs> back to you could be the one um they have got a lot of emotions for you they have got a lot of feelings for you and my heart as i'm stepping into that energy again the heart is really all of a flutter over the feelings that you give them i've just seen a very strong green color being navigated towards the heart as well so there there is a lot of emotions here for you they're really into you they're really into you and that they can see you guys can build a stable future and you can build a solid foundation and um, and with that the ace of pentacles being at, at the forefront this is saying that you can build this new beginnings together and be in this stable family unit now with that being said we've got the four of cups over here um with this energy field there is the likelihood that sometimes they can feel a bit fed up of the situation or you can that's because they haven't allowed them you they haven't allowed you to get past that mask on occasions and it actually drives them mad about that because they want to allow you into their heart it's just almost like i don't know how to let you in just yet but i will do that coming up with that energy over here and um, they are wanting to sweep you off your feet. They're wanting to charm the pants off you. Um, <laughs> charm the pants off you, sounds a bit kinky, doesn't it? Um, but they want to do all of that for you. They're just stopping themselves at the moment because they have fear. Um, fear, fear of deception coming up as well. And perhaps they've been hurt in the past, lied to, um, walked all over. You know, all that energy, past exes, past relationships, is also made them feel a little bit vulnerable. Um, and that's why they are taking their time with the connection as well. Other things that are coming up, they would like to see where it goes. You've got the four of wands. This is uh, celebrations, weddings, happiness, happy times, communication, uh, commitment. 
Okay, so commitment coming up over here. Spirit saying my energy communication, and that is coming up with the King of Swords over here. They are eventually going to communicate their emotions for you. They're going to communicate what they, they want to tell you, and that will lead to a new beginning over here with the full energy as they take a leap of faith. So they are going to communicate their emotions. Their emotions are extremely real. They fancy the pants off you. They think that they're falling in love with you. There is development here. There is growth here, and they can see you two being together in a, in a very strong stable family orientated relationship they've just got to let their guard down a little bit and um, king of swords he is still there like but there, there is this guard up um but it will get to a point that your person feels safe being vulnerable about around you and when they get to that position of feeling safe that is when they will open up and offer you this relationship weddings marriages proposals kids the whole picket fence really really into you that's what that's what they want that's what i want coming up again um so very much the slipper will fit that's done deck number one it was really good i like deck number one and um, it's just once we get past that vulnerability um if you need me dm me on instagram or facebook or drop me a message mr at gmail.com uh email readings 24 to 48 hour turnaround um, and i have availability for video readings so just give me a message okay deck number two so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on we are looking today at your person's uh current thought uh no what are we doing? Their emotions for you. Their true emotions for you. Couldn't think then. Um, so we're just going into your pupil's energy. Think about your person. And let's see what comes up. See what spirits say. See what the cards say. And if you need me, just drop me a message. Miss at the gmail.com. As you all know, I'm Claire Audience. And we just communicate with spirit. And they channel the messages over to you. And the cards are just the tool. So what are their true feelings for you? Okay, so what's happening? Spirit are just actually really communicating through my right ear. So I'm just going to channel that energy over to you. Um, they're saying, tell me something. Tell me true. Tell me how I feel for you. You are bright. You shine light. And you are you can make it through my night. That's a guide. That's one of your the higher dimensional spirit guide coming forward to tell you that. Love is real. Love is true. Don't let your thoughts get the better of you. You are safe, you are protected, and you are loved. Straight messaging, channeling over to you from spirit. That's beautiful, isn't it? What are their feelings for you? Their true feelings. They they do they talk to me, and it's very very hard <laughs> sometimes for me to just you know I have to I have to listen to what they say. So I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to about ten different people at the same time through this right ear and through this left ear and it becomes this whole big rigmarole of who's speaking and um, so you have a mixture then of uh, 5d your connection and then stepping from that 5d energy the second part of those messages was very much spirit guide uh, but higher dimensional spirit guides as well so not your close ones higher higher frequency so five dimension again up coming down towards you from spirit through spirit to spirit Okay, now where we're going to start off with this when we're talking about the true feelings is going back to the reflection of what Spirit have just said to you. You've got the moon and you've got the nine of swords. There is a night energy happening here. So your person, their true feelings of you, um, a lot of the time they experience it in a night energy. So they can pretend that everything is fine and normal during the day. But when nighttime hits, that's where they have this whole big panic perhaps dealing with a little bit of insomnia um, and they're thinking about you very very deeply at night time and wondering how the situation can unfold and where it will unfold when the morning comes they kind of bat it off a little bit um, and think no you know it's just one of those late night thoughts that I was having um, but actually there's more to that and uh, spirits saying really clear that uh, waters run deep okay so their emotions are running very very deep for you and this is why at night time it's coming to kind of spook them so to speak their emotions spooking them um you have these deep emotions they have these deep emotions for you they are deeply rooted within their soul um the other thing to say about nighttime is dreams they often dream about you as well um 
a lot of 98% of our dreams that happen are through our subconscious mind. The other 2% are visitations, which will be the um, higher vibrational energies you two are placing on one another. So you will often have visitations of your person in your dreams. You will know it is a visitation because the colours are going to be extremely bright and you will also not see their mouth moving. If it is your subconscious mind, their mouth will be moving. If it isn't, you will just through the telepathy between the two of you um, will be the communication. OK, so true thoughts about you at night time, very much coming into fruition that they have feelings for you. Um, but they're a little bit frightened of where it can go. Nine of Swords and the Moon, they, they are kind of speaking about a fear energy as well. Uh, why your person is fearful? They're scared of taking a jump. They're scared of creating that leap for the two of you to be together. And the reason why is because there is a karmic energy here. So you might not be karmic. Uh, it might not be a karmic connection there might just be a dose of karma from it so in past lives if you've had a past life with your person um sometimes we do accrue this kind of karmic debt a really kind of dark example but a good example is in one lifetime you're the murderer and the next lifetime you are the victim now i'm not to say that's what's happened with your person but this is why they are scared of taking the leaps and jumps there is a karmic energy you guys have lived multiple lifetimes before they've potentially been hurt in a previous lifetime with you or you've been hurt so they're scared of making those moves towards you and scared of taking that leap when it comes to connecting with you and connecting with your emotions and how they really, really feel for you. So we've got a fear energy that's coming up around this as well. Now, if you need to pass live reading, just give me a shout, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I do do them and we can look at giving you a karmic clearing as well. So just give me a message. Um, that is what is happening in the depths of the night. Now, the other thing that is really important to note about their true feelings for you is the King of Cups and the Lovers. Your person does have these feelings for you. And this lover's card is very much about Dante. Um, so I don't know if any of you have read Dante's Inferno or know anything about it. But he basically goes into the depths of the underworld to find his love. And he meets her um, and they connect with one another. So it's a beautiful, beautiful love story as he goes through the depths of hell. And this, with this energy over here, this fear-based energy, your person is experiencing dark nights of the souls. Um, but the love between the two of you will really shine through with the king of cups next to it it is that celebration of love between the two of you they are emotionally vulnerable and that's why they're not expressing their emotions and um, but they are using their intuition to navigate this situation and the love for you goes really really strong so they will go through the depths of these dark nights um, and find you at the end of it so their true feelings for you i mean wow wow there's a lot of depth here, isn't there? Water runs deep. All those messages from spirit at the start. The progression routes between the two of you. Um, you've also got Cupid shooting his arrow. You two are very much entwined. Um, it's just this karmic energy is often what's holding it back. And that's what that fears are coming for, from for you. But there is emotions, very, very strong emotions, and they will experience these dark nights of the soul. And also with this karmic clearing, I mean, you couldn't, you could even be twin flames with dark nights of the soul coming in. But there is a sense of karma that has to be cleared between the two of you for them to make those moves forward. And that's why they're going through the depths of the underworld to find you. They're experiencing all these fears. And um, come morning light, it's not so bad, but in the night. Um, it is, it's, it's haunting them. It's haunting them. Their emotions are haunting them. Once they release those emotions and they release that fear energy, that's when the lovers and the king of cups really take a step forward and they go with the leap of faith and they take that, that chance. As spirit's saying, they get quite whimsical. Okay, so when they do think about you, they get quite whimsical with their emotions. Um, they're really into you. But there's a, a heaviness that comes with that with the dark nights of the soul that they are experiencing. And that's deck number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I love you all to pieces and I will see you to you soon. Many blessings. Ciao.